All right, we're here in Washtenaw County. It's April 2nd. A little after 8.30, here's a wood frog we found on the edge of the vernal pool. And I'm going to be quiet here in a second because you can hear chorus frogs in the background. Every once in a while, uh, sandhill cranes to our left. We just listen for a few minutes. That clicking sound to our right, chorus frogs. You can hear the occasional spring peeper interspersed with those other frogs. And you just heard the sandhill cranes whooping the other direction. If you're wondering what that that's a dog. Leopard frog here hopping away quickly. Uh, Western Washtenaw County, uh, about 840. Looking for salamanders, haven't succeeded yet. Not surprisingly at this at this hour, but even if we don't see any. Cool trip, cool country, nice to spend time with family, and this is just one gorgeous northern leopard frog. I'm going to give it a quick attempt at catching them here. Alright, we're still on that road in uh, western Washtenaw County, uh, southeastern Michigan. It's, it's a little past 845 now. This is a western chorus frog found hopping across the road. It's our third species of frog on the night. This is the most common frog you never see. It's that one you heard clicking in the background in my uh, soundscape scene, I guess you'd call it. It's tan, it's got a couple dark brown lines on its back. And these are very small. I'll just, uh, Nolan, can you put your hand next to them for size reference? Yeah, right there. Only about an inch, maybe an inch and a quarter. And they stop calling as soon as they hear footsteps, so. I've only I've heard thousands and thousands of these, but I've only seen two. This is my third. Our second leopard frog. This one almost a uh, brownish color. Very strong banding on the thighs. I'm just going to move him off the road really quick so he doesn't get run over by the, the jeep. Okay. Um, I'm trying to get a film of this squirmy little spring peeper, a fourth species of frog in the night. No salamanders yet. About 8:50 p.m. Still on that same road. Western Washtenaw County. And these are the uh, high-pitched ones you hear in the vernal pools early spring. See that X pattern on his back there? It's very indicative of spring peepers. Uh, some of the smaller tree frogs usually don't find them much outside the breeding season. Very loud callers as well. Um, these and wood frogs more restricted to woodland habitats here in the eastern United States. Spring peeper, species four of the year from Michigan. All right, uh, still on that road in Western Washtenaw, nearing 9 p.m. now, and I've got Lithobates clamatans melanata, known as the northern green frog. Track of all these, I'm gonna write them down. Yeah, I will when we get back to the car. So this makes, uh, I'll keep track of it on film too, so I don't forget. Right now we've got five leopard frogs, two of which I filmed one chorus, one peeper, one wood frog, and now this green frog. And for all my Envirothon teammates uh, who may be watching this on YouTube a week from now or so, or a month from now, whatever the case may be, uh, you can tell this from a bullfrog, which has very similar coloration from that line that runs down the back right there and separates the side of the frog from the top of the frog. The bullfrog doesn't have that, it just has the line that goes past the ear right here, all the tympanic membrane. You see how that membrane is bigger than the eye? That means we've got a male frog. If it were about the same size or smaller than that eye, then we'd have a female frog. So anyway, uh, we've got chorus, wood, peeper, leopard, green frog. So this would be species number five on the night, I believe. Not bad. All right, still in western Washtenaw County. Here is a, uh, excuse me, an American toad. Eastern American toad, that is, Bufo americanus found a little after nine, crawling over the road. Here goes the, uh, oh, I forgot the flashlight. Sorry for that. Um, he was crawling along a minute ago. I wanted to get some footage of that for you. Apparently he doesn't want to. Anyway, um, Mom, can you shine a light on the membrane, tympanic one? Okay. Perfect. All right, now from what you see there, would you say this is a male or a female toad? All right.
All right, here, ladies and gents, is our second wood frog. You know what the mask-looking thing below the eye there? And that sound you hear to my right, the pitch dark blackness. Those would be spring peepers. Got an occasional wood frog mixed in there. You can also hear a couple of wood frogs. So right now, I'm kind of laying on the road, and a lot of people would think that's weird, but I don't care, you know why? Because my first yeah. ambistema to Grunham, which for those of you who don't speak Michigan salamanderese, that means Eastern Tiger Salamander, is sitting directly on the road, Western Washtenaw County, 9.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Been chasing this sucker for five years. What a beautiful little creature. Here he is. We're gonna grab him. Geronimo. Here. Oh my God. He's so fun. Go, go get Dad. Here's Nolan holding it. He's a male, big male. Where is he? Okay, there he is. Oh yeah. It's good video. Black and yellow, black and yellow. I hate that song. I hate all rap, but you know what? Right now, any music sounds pretty good. The eye of the tiger. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. I was just yeah. listening to that song. Dun dun. Well, that's kind of ironic now, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Washtenaw County, 9.15 p.m. Hold it on him. Hold it on. Oh, Got it? Brick, yeah. Get, get his mid midsection a little. Just scroll down the whole salamander. Pan down him, his whole body, head to tail. But you're holding him up. You need to hold him up. Like... All right, he's flat. Whole body, head to tail. Ready? You don't even need to move the camera. He'll crawl right past for you. Got it? Got it? Yep. Alright, it's about uh, 10 minutes PT, that means past Tiger. And uh, in this little marsh off of the road on, on in western Washtenaw County, uh, a few deer ribs here uh, from a, a deer that obviously died in this past hard winter we had. Just thought it was kind of interesting. Alright, we are I saw him crawl. We are here in Jackson County, barely. <laughs> I mean, we're a foot into Jackson County. This road is literally the dividing line. Between Washington and Jackson. Here's a beautiful little hey, uh Hey! What? Oh my god, it's noble. What? I just let the dog out. And uh here's that Tremblay salamander I was talking about. You can see the bluish gray spots on his sides. Uh he's probably about four inches long. Yeah. Got the keeled tail there. These are kind of an integrate between the Jefferson salamander and Bistema Jeffersonium and uh Ambistema laterale, which are blue spotted. Those are more common once you get up into middle and northern Michigan. So this guy would be uh, formally considered a separate species, Ambissima tremblay. Now most people just call them unis or unisexuals. They have three chromosomes and they can breed with themselves if need be. So you note the head that looks more like a Jefferson than a blue spot. The silvery gray spots on the sides. There's no one else out here in rural Jackson County. So we're just letting the dog trace around a little bit across the Jackson Washtenaw line a few times. I'm going to put this guy over in the leaves because the roads are starting to dry out. So the salamanders that are crossing um, are not having such a great time right now. Neither are the frogs because the rain ended right around 5 p.m. But just the warmth plus the moisture is bringing a lot of them out. 
It's about 10 p.m. here in Jackson County. Still doing a little rogue cruising, which at this point is a formality because I've seen my target species, the tiger, and the bonus of a Tremblay's hybrid. Um, another chorus frog, kind of exciting, uh, here in Jackson County, about 10.20 p.m. All right, we've got a second Tremblay's here. I didn't really, really want to pick up for as long a period of time, so I'm going to kind of let them go. Just going into the leaf litter here. Still on that same road. Uh, this one's on the Washtenaw County side of the road. Where'd he go? There he is. There he is. You can see that silvery gray flecking on the sides, the Jefferson-like head. Again, the uh, Embistamid type shape. And these guys are cool because up here in Michigan and Northern Ohio, they don't really burrow. Our summers don't get warm enough for them to do that. So you can find them out under cover pretty much the whole summer if you know where to look. Beautiful little salamander. Okay, what we're looking at now is the largest of the Tremblay salamanders that we've found thus far tonight. Uh, again, it has a lot of the same hybrid characteristics which I have already discussed. Uh, blue spot salamanders, if you're wondering just what the heck the difference is, you see how these spots are profuse, they're grayish, silvery blue. The salamander has a, a bulky head. Um, I don't exactly know how to describe the shape and quantify it for you, but I just know the head looks different than the blue spots you find in northern Michigan. And blue spots, pure blue spots, generally have bright electric blue spots that cover the back as well as the sides and uh, they're not that closely spaced it's more distinct spots not modeling so uh, again an intergrade between Jefferson and blue spotted salamanders and this one is uh, the second one on the Washtenaw County side the first one was on the Jackson County side of this road we're on we're here in Livingston County. It's about midnight. We're toward the very tail end of our road cruising run. It's been a very successful night for us. Just wanted to get something in Livingston County. I can't tell what kind of frog this is right now. We're getting some water to try to wash the mud off of them. I can't tell just by the shape either, which is kind of unusual. I'm leaning towards spring keeper, but we'll see. Get you another piece of video. Uh, this is southeastern Livingston County. It's now April 3rd, a little after midnight. What is he? Oh my god, he's a huge chorus frog. Alright, mom just put some water on him for us. Thank you, mom. And he happens to be an absolutely humongous chorus frog. About an inch and a half. I mean, I know that doesn't sound very large by frog standards, but by chorus frog standards, he's, uh, you know, the World Trade Center of Buildings, the, uh, I don't know, the Alaska of States, put whatever analogy with it that that you want, I suppose. He's the Charles Dickens of extended analogies, what have you. You get the picture. No pun intended. Anyway, Western Chorus Frog, last herp of the night, third chorus frog of the night. Matches how many I've seen in my whole life thus far. Great way to end the trip here in Livingston. Here at a site in the western Washtenaw, just getting a, a soundscape of the frogs calling here. Yeah, obviously a bunch of spring peepers and some tree frogs in there. Yes, ma'am. Small group. All right, we're at a pond in Washtenaw County. I don't believe I'm at liberty to say where, on account of the hybrids that also uh, make up part of the population. But here's a spotted salamander, Ambisima inoculatum, right over here. Right here. Wow. Looks 
cold. Okay. Not moving. There was one right under there too, uh, Sydney, but mm -hmm. gone now. Mm -hmm.